I've got a nice sort of straightforward job to do at work. I've got to put a new hitch onto a trailer. I've got a bit of 60mm box section, it'll be welded onto the trailer and the hitch simply bolts on there. You think it would be a simple matter of drilling two holes in and then putting bolts through, it's not quite as simple as that. The problem is if you just drill two holes and put bolts through, you can tighten and tighten and tighten and all it does is deform the box section, you can't get it to tighten up properly. What you need to do is put a spacer in there, probably weld it at the bottom. So when you tighten the bolt, it tightens up on the spacer and you actually clamp the, the hitch properly onto the bit of box section. I thought I had some steel tube the right size, say 12mm half inch bore, I haven't. But when you've got a lathe, you've always got a bit of tube the right size, so I'll have to make two. First thing I'll do is drill, drill the two holes. Mark them out. Right, that's where the two holes need to go. I'll find the centre of these two holes by using one of the oldest methods available. I'll just use my eyes. I'll get a centre punch and just pop them. And for the trailer hitch, I can definitely get that centre hole well within tolerance. All I'm going to use for a centre punch is a new old top, a blown top. People say you shouldn't hit taps because they'll shatter. I've been hitting taps for the last 40 years and I haven't shattered a one yet. Once you go across that wheel like this, just shift it across. Not exactly rocket science. Right there in the middle, or as least as near in the middle as makes no difference. Cross that wheel very slightly. Right, and then a final, final punch. Right, so we need to drill these through 12 mil, and then count up all them to take the bit of tube that we're going to need. Right in the middle. I've already taken that one out to three quarter, we'll do this one now. When I say three quarter, I really mean 12 mil. I don't. When I say three quarter, I really mean 19 mil. Okay, we've got a three quarter inch. In here now, I'm just going to slow that down again a little bit on the, the fast side. Right, so we've now got a 19mm hole on each side and a 12mm hole on the other side. We need to make some spacers to tack weld into there. Right, this is a little bit of bar we're going to use for the spacers. Just machine the end. And I need one mil off the diameter. Touch it off. Half mil cut. Very pleased with this collar chuck, running nice and true, I do for work like this, quick and easy.
Right, so that spot on that goes into there. Cut off flush and just tack weld it on the bottom. All one knows it. A 12 mil hole putting through it. Right, so now when the hitch is bolted onto there, see the tube going all the way through, so that stops the box section from crushing. I'm using high tensile top head bolts just because I happen to have some. They need to be high tensile but not necessarily top heads. I'll probably weld a bit of plate just to close that face up. Just to tidy it up. You can see when you tighten that, now it will tighten up properly. But without the space area in, it will just deform the box section and it could tighten forever. And you'll never get it fully tightened. But I will blank the end of that tube off, it'll look a lot better. It'll stop any shape from getting in there and through on the tube from the inside. That's going nowhere. Do I think you could do as well down there? But I don't like welding hitches on it, means if you need to change it, you can't get it off. I've got a little job to do here for a friend. It's actually a, a steel rod of a, some sort of a slide hammer. And he wants his thread extending down to that white mark. He's not sure what thread it is, so we'll have to identify the thread. I'm getting a reading there of basically half inch. 49980. So it's half inch. It does look like an imperial thread. I'll get a thread gauge on it and see what it actually is. And I've got a thread gauge there, that's a 20 TPI thread gauge and that fits perfectly. So a half inch by 20 is half inch UNF. I have got a half inch UNF die. So what I'll do, I'll mount a die in a die stock and power thread this down to the end. I could screw cut it, but when you've got a die in a small thread like that, it's easier just to use a die to put the threads on. Okay, that's the half inch UNF die which goes on there, no problem at all. Right, you can use a tailstock barrel to keep the die square on the job. And obviously the workpiece is going to go up the hollow centre of the tailstock barrel. So we're not going to try holding the die stock like this, so we're going to have a jam on that tool Run the lathe in bottom gear, plenty of cutting oil on. It's a brand new die, so it should cut the thread, no problem. Right, it's all ready to start. I've got the lathe running at 45 RPM, that's as slow as it'll go. Plenty cutting oil. I'm just going to keep a gentle pressure on the tail like hand wheel. The 
that's a fed down as far as he needed it. Cut quite a nice thread. I'll reverse the lathe and power it back off and then probably tighten the die up and do one more cut. That's a die I've been using. This is called a split die because it's got a split in it. What you can do if you notice on the die stock or the die holder, you put it in and these two screws or these two bolts go into two little recesses on the die. If you tighten them, it squashes the die in so you can fit the threads. There's not much on it, but there is enough. So you can turn them in and that'll cut a slightly tighter thread. So if we tighten them up, that will push the die together. And obviously that screw there is the one that will open it up. So now that gap's closed right down, it's going to cut a tighter thread. Okay, so that's going on to the bit that was already cut. And now it's tightened up on the, the thread that I've just cut. So I can run it down again. Just to tighten the thread right up. And the bar is actually going to bend it as well. Being a slight hammer, it probably would have. It's a nice sharp crisp thread. Must be quite an old tool this would have been the ONF thread. I do like half inch ONF. It's a nice thread for making tools with. See the bar has got a slight bend in it. Find. Good boy, find. Find. Just to his left there. Come on. 
fine. Good boy, find. Stick. Find. Good boy. Good lad. Go on in, fetch it. Good lad. Good boy. There you are, good boy. Once again, it's time to say a massive thanks for watching, for clicking the like button, for subscribing to us, and especially for all the people that are sending in well wishes towards my wife, Deb, and my dad. It really is fantastic. Thanks very much. A bit of a ball to that one, I mean. Got like three centers now. Yeah, dead end. Right, that's in the middle. Right. Cozy bastard, you. Yeah.